So this year's Ubisoft Forward has finally given us a look at games like Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Watch Dogs Legion, Hyperscape and Far Cry 6. But what are the Games Radar team excited about and why? The more I see of Assassin's Creed Valhalla, the more I just want to have it at home and spend way too much time searching every inch of the map for all the weird things that you just know Ubisoft has put in there. Um, there's just something so rich about the mix of the Dark Ages England uh, and East Anglia, my hometown, um, and the kind of Norse mythology. There's so much to play with there and so many kind of nice little supernatural elements that you know they're going to find really clever ways to tie into the whole sort of science fiction side of Assassin's Creed. Just look great. The highlight of uh, Ubisoft Forward for me this year and I, I just need it now. So Hyperscape is entering open beta on PC today, which means that if you have a Uplay account and a rig that can run it, uh, you can download the game right now. Uh, I played the closed beta just a few weeks ago and yeah, it's really interesting. There's a lot of stuff going for it. There's a gorgeous map, which is basically Renaissance Paris with sort of a cyberpunk twist. Uh, there's ratchet and clank levels of, of weaponry and gadgets to experiment with. And there's this Twitch integration system, which means that people who are watching a streamer, say one of their favorite streamers on Twitch, can basically vote to have stuff happen in matches in real time, uh, which makes me think it's you know playing more to that streamer crowd than just the average person who enjoys battle royale for for the sake of it. But it'll be interesting to see how you know gamers sort of react to that and and receive that, and if that plays out on console as well as PC because the game is launching on you know all those platforms when it eventually fully releases in the summer. Um, but the good news is you don't really have to listen to me wondering about that and, and questioning it because you can literally try the game out for yourself right now. So I'll shut up and let Hyperscape do the talking. Now when you think about Watch Dogs, you usually think about the technology. But Watch Dogs Legion is doing something different by enabling you to recruit any NPC in the game. And it is anyone. You can go out into the street, pick someone at random, recruit them. But what we've just got to look at is the fact that everyone comes with unique abilities. Now it could be enhanced stats, it could be better abilities with hacking or combat. Uh, it also includes something called uniformed access, which enables you to get into areas without raising an alarm. What this adds, and from playing it, it's a really exciting idea, is that there's so many more levels on top of what you would normally be able to do simply by hacking and stealthing around an area. You can choose people according to the mission uh, criteria. So if it is a secure area, you, you could recruit a policeman who would get you in without anyone noticing. So uh, yeah, what they sent off the showcase looks really interesting and I cannot wait to spend some more time with it and uh, see just how much sort of havoc you can raise. I love the fact that Ubisoft made space in amongst the big announcements and the release dates and fresh gameplay footage just to let the devs talk not about the games, not about anything that's happening in the world right now, but just about what it's like to actually make games. Whether it's the fact that the you know art designer decided to put in a boat full of cats in Assassin's Creed Unity, or the fact that they're doing it again in Watch Dogs Legion. Just having that human element and seeing the people behind the games who don't always get to talk when new games are announced was really interesting and I think I hope that it will inspire more people to see what kind of people make games and what different roles there are available. And I think that's really important in a time where, you know, we only see the biggest faces who are making these games and hopefully this will inspire a new generation of people to get involved. I think the highlight for Ubisoft 4 for me has to be Far Cry 6. We got a very brief look at the game from a little CGI trailer at the end, but already it's got the one thing you need, I think, for a great Far Cry game, and that is a really compelling villain. Obviously Far Cry 3 you had Vaz, and Far Cry 4 you had Pagan Min, and now we've got um, Anton Castillo, played by Breaking Bad's Giancarlo Esposito, and I just cannot wait to find out more about what his role will be in the game versus what, you know, our central character's role will be in the game. 